hello my loves welcome back to my channel Celeb here in today's video i'm going to teach you guys how to drape on your um corset cups or how to um create pleats on your corset cups but if you want to know the exact size of breast cup you should be getting in the first place i have a different video on that to let you know the sizing and how to know the exact sizing that is perfect for you or your clients so if you want to find that out definitely check out that video the link will be in the description box down below without further ado let me show you how to drape on your breast cup oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> so you need your breast cup try to get this in the right size okay the size of the breast cup is usually written inside of it you also need your safety pins as much as you can get and you need your fabric the fabric you're going to you're going to use to drape on the cup now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the fabric you're using is wide enough okay make sure that it's wide enough it's better to start wide enough and then trim it later than starting with a very small fabric so just simply place the fabric on top of the breast cup and simply just create those pleats with your hands okay create the pleats and once you create the first pleat, you want to go ahead and just pin both sides to the breast cup, okay? Make sure that you pin into the breast cup and make sure that it's flat, okay? You can also decide the direction that you want your pleats to face. The pleats could either face horizontally or vertically on the cup. So that depends on you and the look you're going for. Now, when you create the next one and the next one, you want to make sure that the distance um, or the width of the pleats are the same for all of them, okay? That's one of the things that makes it very, very neat. You have to try and make sure that if you have um, the pleats are one inch um, wide, that is consistent throughout, okay? Don't go making a one inch wide pleat and then a one and a half inch wide pleat and then the next one is one and a quarter. It's just going to look very tacky. So try to make sure that... You know the width of the pleats are the same so just go ahead and just um, pleats and then pin the sides pleats and pin the sides to make it easier you can take a tailor's ham place it and then place the cup on top of it okay that will make it much easier for you to you know um, make the pleats because when you have that um, the tailor's ham underneath it's kind of it's actually solid so it it stops the the breast cup from going inside when your your the weight of your hands are on it okay so if you have a tailor's ham definitely do that i have a tutorial on how to make a tailor's ham this tailor's ham can also be used to iron your princess that bustier or even your corsets um your corset cups as well to make it very nice and smooth and round okay that just go ahead and just split all the way to the end <laughs> guys make pan your ear lights but this is what it looks like once i'm done okay now once you want to go ahead and take it to your sewing machine and then just sew it around okay So this is what it looks like, okay? Now taking the tailor's ham again, just place it under the cup. Then go ahead and just give it a good, good press, okay? Another thing that makes this neat is when you give it a very good press. Iron it very well. Make sure that it's smooth and everything is flat, okay? Now once it's flat, all you have to do is just, um, you know, take out the pins, because you've already sewn them to the fabric so you wouldn't be needing the pins anymore so just take out the pins and then just go ahead and just sew the top part of you know um the breast cup to the fabric but before you do that you have to go ahead and just cut out any excess fabric okay that's why i mentioned that at the beginning you want to have a very wide fabric 
when you're done with your you know draping you can now cut out the excess now you can go ahead and just sew the top part of the breast cup Also go ahead and then just cut out the excess once you've done that. And this is it guys. So you want to go ahead and just cover the other side of the breast cup with a lining. I have a tutorial on that. The link will be in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.